One of the recurring themes that we hear from the education community, in other words, and other people, is that to fix education, we need more money. Well, the data show otherwise. During the 50-year period from 1965 to 2015, per student funding, after controlling for inflation, has increased 300%. That's 6% a year, every year for 50 years, above the rate of inflation. As Secretary DeVos has pointed out, American taxpayers spend on average a little over $13,000 per student per year. That's state, local, and federal funding. With an average class size of 21 students, that equals $273,000 per classroom. Now, the average teacher's compensation is about $60,000. So the question is, where does that extra $213,000 per classroom go? Well, here's the dirty old secret. It goes to highly paid administrators, superintendents, coordinators, consultants, assistant principals, and assistant superintendents. Layers and layers of bureaucracy. Since 1970, the number of adults in our education system, K through 12, has increased nine times faster than the number of students enrolled in our schools. Said another way, for every classroom of 23 students that's been added to the system since 1970, we've hired more than 15 adults. Now, while businesses around the world have substituted capital for labor, this is true in farming, banking, manufacturing, insurance, even in medicine, only one industry has been impervious to this revolution, the education industry. And let's not kid ourselves. Education is a $700 billion a year industry. 